I've had a few people asking questions about X analytics and how they work. So I thought I'd do a video breaking down all the different metrics and analytics that you can see in the back end of X. So this will be a little bit different format video for you guys, but hopefully it will be helpful as you work to grow your X account. Okay, so first we're going to start by looking at the basic analytics that are offered. So to go to the basic analytics, then you're going to go to X, go to the settings and click more. Then you're going to click premium and then analytics. And then what you're going to see here is a breakdown of about 10 different metrics based on your last seven days of activity. So you can see here that in the last seven days on my Enzyme Gridiron X account, I've received 324,000 impressions. And then this plus 226% means that it's 226% higher than the previous seven day period. Now, sometimes I'll have people reach out to me with questions about why their impressions are going down and they'll send me a screenshot of this dashboard and say, why is it red? Why are my impressions going down? And the short answer is that there's a lot of reasons why your impressions could be going down. You could have been shadow banned, and so your metrics are going down. You could have made less posts this week than you did the week before, or maybe you just need to go back to the drawing board and post better content. But really just don't panic if you see red on this dashboard because it's impossible for you to just consistently do better week after week after week after week, unless you go like mega viral or something. It's very rare that your impressions are always gonna be green. All right, now let's look at the more detailed analytics page. So there's a couple ways that you can get there. The first option is to just type in to your URL, analytics.twitter.com. And if you're logged in to X, then it will bring up that page in your browser. The other option is to, if you're already on this dashboard here, just click on access your post analytics and it will take you directly to that page. And then the last option is that if you go over here to settings, more creator studio, and then analytics, that will also take you there. So when you first land on this page, you'll see a few stats here and there, like a 28 day summary of your impressions and your followers. But other than that, there's not a ton of other stuff that it shows. It shows maybe some monthly breakdowns down here of the same metrics, but there's not a ton here. You'll also see this banner that lets you know that the X team is working on improving the analytics section, so it should get better in the future. Now, if you click on tweets, it will show you a more detailed breakdown of your impressions and a whole bunch of other metrics here. So first you've got this graph and it shows you by day how many impressions you've got. You can also change the range and see how many impressions you've got over a particular period of time. So this can be especially helpful when you're trying to reach the 5 million impression threshold. In one of my other videos, I give a, a more extensive list of how you can do that. But one of the ideas that I share is to break down the 5 million number into daily goals. And so I suggest that you try and hit about 55,000 impressions per day, and that will help you reach the 5 million impression threshold in the three-month time period. So this is where you will check on your progress here. So if you look here, you'll see a lot of the number of impressions that I got are right around that 60,000 mark. A lot are higher, a lot are lower, but you know that if you're aiming for that target, 
you're in pretty good shape. I'm also now going to show you evidence that you do not need to maintain the 5 million impression threshold after you have been monetized to stay monetized. If you see right here, 4.7 million impressions in the last 90 days based on when I'm filming this. And if you go over here to my X account and you look at monetization, then it says right here that I'm on track for payouts and everything is in working order. So if you're wondering if you have to maintain the 5 million impressions, here's proof that you do not need to do that. So then in addition to these impressions metrics, if you scroll down, you've got more metrics showing the posts that you've made with impressions, engagements, and engagement rate. There's also some other graphs over here that show engagements, link clicks, retweets without comments, likes, and replies. And all of this data is based on this date range that you set up here. Now you'll also see right here this export data button. So you can export 30 days of data at a time. So if we look here for the month of November, then you can export by tweet or by day. And I have that data right up here that I will show to you in just a second. But if you want to export more than just 31 days, I believe 31 days is the maximum. If you want to export more than that, like you want to go back three months, six months, then you just have to change the date range. So like, let's say I want to do October instead of November, then it will provide me with the same option to still export by tweet or by day. So then looking over here first at the daily tweet activity, then you can see it's much more detailed than just in the dashboard. You've got all kinds of metrics that you can look at. And before I forget, if you don't have Microsoft Excel, then you can just upload the CSV file into Google Drive and then open it as a Google Sheets file and you will be able to see all of this data. So don't worry if you don't have Excel, you can still view it. So this can be particularly helpful if you look at some of these metrics. Like if you're calculating how much money you made and where the money came from and a payout, user profile clicks is going to be a great metric to look at as well as detail expands. Now, if we look over here at the breakdown by tweet, then you can see all the tweets that I made in the month of November, and then it's broken down into a bunch of different metrics. So it'll be awesome if the metrics in the actual backend of X could be improved because at this point, they just really aren't as good as Instagram, for example, you can see a lot better metrics, but it looks like the X team is working on that. All right, now let's go back over to the analytics dashboard. And if you go up here at the top to more, then there's a videos section that will show you data on the videos that you upload. Now, I don't upload a ton of videos directly to the platform. Most of the videos I share have already been uploaded. Uh, the account that I'm showing you here is an American football account. So a lot of times I'm sharing highlights that are directly from the NFL's account. So I don't really need to upload the videos myself. But if you are uploading videos yourself, then you can see metrics here, such as views, total minutes viewed, retention, stuff like that. So this is very helpful. And same thing here, you can adjust it based on the date range and export the data if you need to. There's also the events manager tab. Now I've never used this, so I'm not going to get into it in this video, but it's there. All right, so that is a breakdown of a lot of the different metrics and analytics that you can see in the back end of X. Hopefully this video is helpful to you. And if you have more questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section. And as always, I will do my best to help you answer those questions. Also, if this video provided you with value, please consider subscribing to the channel 
and leaving a like on this video as that really does help me out. And I will see you guys in the next video.